Here is how we can build your own project and task management system with Notion. We are going to create a landing page based on a customized database with a Kanban board, a calendar and a gallery view. And I will show you some advanced techniques that will save you time when creating and planning tasks. Finally, we are taking a short look into the new Notion calendar app. I'm a game developer, so this tutorial is based on a game development project. However, you can apply this to any kind of project that you wish to realize. We go through this step by step, but you can also find a link to the Notion template in the video description. Let's get started. First, I create a landing page for a sample project with a title and icon, and I add it to favorites. I want to take notes and manage my knowledge about a specific field I'm learning. In this case, it's Unreal Engine. Notion's Markdown support makes writing headlines, bullet points and other formatted text very easy. By typing slash, you can use commands like slash code for syntax highlighting with support for different programming languages such as C++. You can also embed videos from YouTube, PDFs, Google Maps and much more and export your knowledge pages as PDFs. You can turn a headline into a page, drag and drop your notes there and give it a custom icon to better organize your knowledge. In the sidebar on the left, you can see that our Unreal Engine page became a child of our landing page. Let's type slash again to add in four columns for a quick overview and access to child pages and other functionality on our landing page. I'm going to fast forward this process because creating sub pages and bullet points is something that we've already done before. Okay, this starts to look a little bit squeezed, so I'm giving the landing page a full width design. Adding a table of contents is very easy and helps a lot. Next, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create a database with your tasks and projects and how you can manage them in a Kanban board and calendar view on your landing page. You could create a database from scratch and add all the properties you need, or you could save your time and use the projects and task template. This template creates two databases which I'd like to be children of our landing page. I can open those databases with the middle mouse button in new tabs. In the projects database, you are going to find some sample projects with different properties as well as different views onto the same data. Under the view all, I'm going to delete the sample projects and add a game and a YouTube project. I'd also like to add an owner which comes in handy if you want to share your project with other members of your team. Let's check out the task database, remove the samples and add in our own tasks with the proper icons. I'm going to speed up the next section because everything I do is just adding new tasks. I'm giving each task an icon, a due date, a priority and I assign them a project. I'm also removing the sample tags to use my own tags instead. You can always click on edit property to change a property to your liking. The status property is especially important for the Kanban board, which we are going to create later on. I'm going to add a needs review option. Maybe you also wish to have a needs playtesting option because sometimes you need to iterate over your work before you can mark it as done or finalized. Likewise, an in review option and an hold and a learning option because sometimes when you start a new task, you have to learn the whole topic and you don't really know how long this is going to take. You can also add properties of different types like formulas or relations that add great functionality like this completion in the project database. Let me show you how this was realized. First, I add a relation to projects and don't forget to enable show on projects and also don't forget to add in the projects. The relation between the two databases enables you now to add a roll-up in the projects database and calculate the percentage of completed tasks from the status property of the related tasks database. Let me show you how you can use your own templates to streamline the process of creating new tasks. If you delete the content of the database entry, you'll find the option to create a new template for tasks. For example, tasks that are related to Unreal Engine get an appropriate icon, assignee, project and a checklist as default values 
through the template. I speed up the following part in which I create more templates and derive a few sample tasks from them. Now each time I create a task, I select a template which saves me a lot of time. Additionally, my tasks are now easier to recognize by the icons. Let's now get to the fun part of creating different views of the task database on our landing page. By typing slash board, we can add a Kanban board based on our task. I actually don't want one column per status. I'd rather group it the way a task moves from to do and progress to complete. However, I like to show the status and the date on the card and subgroup them by project. If I now drag and drop a task from left to right, the status is going to be the uppermost one of each group. I can also change the status directly to be more specific. Notion enables us to sort and filter database items. This can be very helpful to not let yourself distract from unnecessary information. For the same reason, I only like to show tasks that are not completed and have to be done soon. I think a calendar is essential for project management. And I also would like to see the priority of a task in the calendar. You might also want to display the assignee when you share the project with other team members. Additionally, I add galleries for all tasks. One filtered gallery by gameplay tag, just to give you an example. And one for all finished tasks with a proper icon. You can add new tasks from any of those views and they're going to have the filter properties applied automatically like this gameplay tag. Finally, I'd like to enhance the landing page with buttons that provide easy access to different task galleries with a side peak feature. Before I'm able to add these buttons, I will create a gallery page of tasks that are neither done nor archived. Then I duplicate this page three times and change the filters for each page individually. One page is for tasks without a date, so we are applying a filter where the due date is empty. One is for overdue tasks. That means we filter for due dates before today. One page should remind us about high priority tasks with a red exclamation mark and a filter for high priority. And last but not least, if our collaborator finished a task, we want to be able to find it in a gallery of tasks that need to be reviewed. Now I add one button for each of the four views on our landing page. I give them the same name and icon like the pages, because their purpose is just to open them in a side peek. Let me speed up this process in which I duplicate the buttons and adjust them individually according to the four galleries. Now I can plan or reshuttle tasks from the side peak by dragging and dropping them, for example, into the calendar view. If someone in my team finished a task that needs a review, I can just grab it from the side peak to start reviewing it. So this is how I set up my project management system. You should now be able to change it to your needs or create your own system from scratch. In the end, I'd like to show you briefly how you can use a new Notion Calendar app to manage your tasks and Google Calendar at one place. In the source database, you need to add a calendar or timeline to make the tasks visible to the Notion Calendar app. I have the app already installed, but you can also start with the browser version. First, you have to click Add Calendar Account to connect the app to your Notion workspace and Google Calendar. After giving the permissions, you can see that the connection has been established. Next, I add the calendar view of the task database. Keep in mind that the filter settings of the view also affect the visibility in the app. Now I add a test event from the calendar app and open it in my Notion workspace. Ok, that works. Back in the calendar app, I unhide my Google calendars and add a character mesh meeting event to the shared calendar. 
There's also the option to make this a Zoom conference and you can add allocation, documents and links. In this meeting, I want to discuss how exactly the character mesh is supposed to be created. Therefore, I attach the appropriate task that we created previously in the video. I hit escape to save and switch to my Google Calendar. Here you can see the same event and a click on the attached link opens the Notion task in a new tab. Now back in the Notion calendar on the sidebar to the right, you can see a list of shortcuts like the W key to switch to the week mode. With Ctrl K you can open a menu that gives you quick access to useful commands such as the travel to time zone command. If I choose New York, it's going to transpose the events to the time zone. There are of course more features you might have a use for. However, this is out of the scope of this video. I hope I could help and I'd be happy if you give me a like or feedback. Don't forget the Notion template in the video description. And if you want to learn how to develop game logic in Unreal Engine with C++, I have a tutorial series here on my channel. See you next time.